I started out hating my husband and my feet hurt. It all was worth it in the end. The pain we all seek right here. Show the buck, Eric. Am I gonna get sponsored now? <laughs> you missed a couple times. Like four. <laughs> I did it all in one room rock stalker. Nice job, buddy. Thanks. Can't wait to show you what this year is going to bring. This is Desert uh, edition of Mule Deer Country Series. Mule Deer are awesome. They live in so many different peculiar places and inhabit so many different kinds of ecosystems, environments. So it's pretty cool. Excited to show you this. Update, Josh and I are finally headed out. Got a five hour drive out to our area. It's time to go kill a big old Millie. Big old desert Millie. Taken. Buck found. Big buck. Big buck. Big buck. Big, big buck. Day number two. We went ten and a half miles deep yesterday chasing that buck. Basically just took inventory yesterday. Today, strategy and execution. Uh, we picked Chase up at the airport last night, so we're legit today. We're going to have a nice cameraman. Um, that way Josh and I don't have to do it. We got about two, three hours of sleep total last night. We got in super late. We know basically where we left this buck, so we're gonna get on him, get on the glass, and try to locate him right off the bat and get a stock on him. So we finally got the wind we've been hoping for. A stiff north wind. So as long as we can find this buck, we should at least get a consistent and stiff enough wind to normally conceal our scent, but hide our sound. So we just gotta find him now. A cookie made out of crickets. Have you seen this before, Chase? No. It's freaking nuts. 30 crickets, 10 grams of protein. Crickets made into a cookie. Check this out. Delicious. Big chase up at the airport really uh, late or early 
I guess you could say we, we only run it on an hour or two hours of sleep. We got up to the top of this mountain. We've been trying to turn up this buck from yesterday, the giant, all day long. And we've all been snoozing. Took it about an hour, hour and a half nap. I woke up and just started glassing immediately. Boom. Found a doe. Saw a buck rake and yelled over to Chase, go get my spotter. Chase ran over, grabbed my spotter, put the spotter on him. Sure enough, it's him. Before we make a concrete plan, I think we've got to get off this hill and see what the wind's doing, don't you? Yeah, get a little closer. Yeah. Definitely. Head up that wash or what? Yeah, probably head up that wash there. They're bedded facing south, so we should be in good position. And you, there's a cut right there, huh? A good cut that's gonna be in our favor, so she'll work out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Chase and I probably got 70 yards to this buck. We never had eyes on him, but we had to bend close. And a big forked horn from our north came running in and blew him. That's the only thing I can think of because the wind was good and I know they didn't hear us or see us. We caught him down below as I came over a couple ridges just to see if I could get eyes on him. I saw a bunch of deer. I think he might've been with him, but I don't know, I didn't get eyes on him, but two, I don't want to fawn bumped. And I don't know if he's with him, but I didn't want to push him. And some other deer were to the right. So he could still be over there, so they won't spook them too hard. We'll just see where they go tomorrow. It's a bummer. I couldn't even lift my legs over bushes. Oh. I was so cramped. Sorry, man. Oh no. I let you down. That's honey. You would have killed him. I just smoked him. I knew you were gonna kill him. I knew you were gonna kill him. <laughs> they didn't even know you were there. No idea. You got both of us in frame? Yeah. That's un, that's ridiculous. Hey, you couldn't see me there, could you? No. No, I had no clue he was ever that close. It's unbelievable. I hope he didn't bump too far. He's just gonna make a big circle. I need it to be what? 30 seconds faster. 30, at least 30 seconds faster. I mean, if you had been on the top, you'd have smoked him. Smoked him, no doubt. I didn't want to come over that top too fast. Right. So that's why I was being cautious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Freak. That's something, like Josh said. I mean, I'm pretty disappointed in myself. I mean, I didn't bump him. I just didn't get to the spot quick enough. Man. Super bummed. Yeah, I remember saying he was up feeding. You're like, you better hurry, get over there. He's gonna get up feeding. That's why I started going faster. But not fast enough. I didn't want to blow him either, you know. Yeah. Figure it was better safe than sorry. You thought it was gonna happen, didn't you? Well, yeah. There See, you are. There he is. Right there. That brush was thick, man. Didn't find him till one o'clock today. Only had one opportunity for one stock. Gonna kill him tomorrow. It's a heartbreaker. Well, back at it, day three. Um, 
got a really stiff one this morning. Seems like we just closed our eyes and we're already back at it. Backpackers on hiking again. So they're long hikes in, long hikes out. My mind's in a different place today. I've, I've never wanted something so bad. And something so difficult to attain. I guess nothing worth having is easy, right? Like through trials, there's triumph. And you can't experience the good without the bad. And we're just going to go hard in the pain. And get it done. Settled in and get comfortable here. Pull out the big glass. See if we can't turn up this boy. Seven protein, 70 calories. Original jumpers, you ready for this? Put your hand out. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh look at that. Gosh, beautiful. It's still got its eyes though. I don't know how they hold on to those. But I don't know how they just don't get baked right out of their skull. It's pretty dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Head first. Feels good. good. You guys can't kill anything. We're gonna have to resort to the little guys. You're pretty sad. Rice Krispies made out of skin. Oh my god. <laughs> Are they salty? A little bit of salt. Let's see. Look at that. There's the rest of them. You got their wings still attached. That's awesome. Not bad, man. Let's start collecting uh, crickets. We've been glassing here for two hours and we haven't turned up this big buck yet, so we're experimenting with food. and wings are still on there. All natural. Sauteed. Gluten-free. No, not sauteed. Baked. I think they're baked and roasted crickets. Here we go. Tastes bad. Good. All right, here we go. I'm the last one to Here we go, we're making our way in on this box. We should just be 
right up and over there. Josh and I stand before ye humbled. In peace. In peace. Humbled at the opportunity to get schooled by the big buck yet again. Took us to school. He got lucky and just fed the wrong way. And then, I don't know what the heck happened. Bedded him down, thought we had a good spot. Anyway, he fed the opposite direct. Well, they went the opposite direction because he was kind of chasing the doe. Then what happened? I don't know. Spooked, spooked, something spooked them. They got wind of something. It wasn't us. Wind was hard in our faces. Right in our face. It spooked them. Yeah. We'll, we'll kill them tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day. We just have to find them right first thing in the morning. First thing. We got to get up high and find them. Find them early. Early. It's been taking us a while to find them. It's so, they're so exhilarating once we find them. Just get so excited. Right. In that kill mode. And then you get bummed when he runs off. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> <laughs> How long do we give it before we skip to the next mountain there? About 30 minutes. And just go? Yeah. Okay. To have this light still. We'll see the last one. Yeah. The overcast light. Rock this. We got about 40 minutes to the top there. About 40 minutes. Located him. I'm gonna get the spotter on and see if it's him. It's just what we needed to, for the first win of the day was finding him early. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. None. Thought we had them in that draw and <laughs> disappeared. All that came out was three does. Up on over that other side? Mm-hmm. No sight of the big boy. It's gotta be somewhere. He almost died. Now I'm starting to question where he's at and opportunity. I thought he, I thought we had him. I thought he was in trouble right there. We made an approach, we were so quiet going in. Wind was good. Yeah. I don't know. 
That's what boggles my mind. The wind was good. IDK. IDK. As my wife always says, it sucks to suck. <laughs> Today we sucked. I don't know what happened to that deer. We never got eyes on him again. This whole week we've been fortunate to find him again. I'm done chasing though. It's time to kill. It's time to kill. I thought we had him. He must obviously didn't stay bedded there. Or even bed. Who knows if they even bedded there? Right. Could have went up and over. You saw a different buck tonight. That could have been him. Long ways out there. Long ways. Breaking bow hunting, man. It's tough. Another day down. <laughs> day number four in the books. So we've gone an average of 10 miles a day. We've gone 40 miles. Hard miles. Hard miles. Fast paced miles. Repeat in the morning. <laughs> Dude, it seems like this, the second we get in there and the second we wake up, we're hiking again. It's like we're hiking nonstop is what it seems like. From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to bed. All right. Well, see how we do tomorrow. Well. Today's the first time I'm bumped. Draggy knuckles today. No, just bumped. Just like, yeah. Just because I, I don't know what happened. Like, I, my, my mind is just boggled. We thought we had it all planned out. Yeah. And it just went the opposite direction. And I think what's really got me is the fact that I saw that buck. There were three does I bumped when I came around that hill. And I couldn't find a buck with them. And, I, and the does ran across the draw. And I looked up half hour later and a buck was headed out. And I looked, I could just tell it was a big frame buck. That's what's got me a little bummed, I think. Otherwise, I'd be like 100% confident he's still there and we can find him more. It was big. It was a nice buck. And we haven't seen another nice buck over there. No. We haven't really been over there. No. Let's eat and call the ladies. Shall we? What's up, guys? Thanks for watching Mule Deer Country Desert Part 1. So we're giving away three table hookers by Skull Hooker. Super easy to enter. All you've got to do is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then leave us a comment about the favorite part of this video. Now, I'm gonna really encourage you to subscribe because we got an awesome part two to Desert coming up that's gonna be absolutely epic, and you're gonna to wanna to definitely see how this hunt unfolds. So please do yourself a solid, enter for the table hooker, and if you feel so inclined, copy the link, share it with your friends, email it to your friends, text it to your friends, whatever you wanna do there. But Appreciate your guys' support. Um, we're gonna keep bringing you videos and stay tuned. Smoky jumpers. Those ones are much better. That smoke's where it's at. Chase, don't tell me how to open my bee stinger. Whoa, it's white. How can strawberry kiwi be white? It's like a melted fruit snack. I'm not excited about sucking on this after you, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Good little pocket snack.